workshops, what do you see as the role of men in solving some of the inequities? <laughs> well, I can even say that here in the U.S. Let oh, me yeah, I meant US, in the U.S. Let me do the U.S. story. <laughs> so, so we're at Argonne National Labs, because we've been doing a lot with the DOE labs lately, because DOE funds us. And so um, it, usually, you know, the negotiation workshop, we'd have mostly women there. But in this workshop, we had three young men there. And they were great. They were sitting in the back. They are wonderful. We figure if, you know, if the guys want to come with a room full of women, whatever their motive is, it's fine. <laughs> and they, um, and so the women were saying, what usually happens in these workshops is I ask, what's negotiable? And they go, oh, not much. And, or no, and then I'll start suggesting, like, no, no, you can't negotiate for that. You can't negotiate for this. And the guys are in the back of the room giggling because then they, I said, what's going on back there? And they said, well, we know she negotiated for all of that, <laughs> right? So having the men there gives women the perspective that, as you know, as any department head, <laughs> The guys ask for things you never would have thought to ask for. And so then, as many of our coach women got to be department heads, that's exactly what they said, too. So you, and many times, you need to have the, uh, the men there. And so